The Xperia 1 Mark IV has been out for a little while now and I've covered some features of the phone in my recent videos. In this video, I'm going out to photograph some beautiful landscapes in my area as well as showing some of my favorite features of the phone. So uh, let's go! Well, hello there! Welcome to a new video and Thank you for clicking on it. I really appreciate that. So I haven't really been able to post anything on YouTube for uh, during the summer here because we've been moving, uh, moving to a different city closer to the forest, which is perfect. So that's why it's been a little quiet. But from now, you'll see a lot of new videos on the channel. So I'm really, really excited for it. And what I'm also excited about is having the Xperia 1 Mark IV outside. And that's what we're doing in this video. I'm gonna go around with the car try to see if I can find something beautiful to photograph. And along when I'm outside, I'm gonna share my favorite features of the Xperia 1 Mark IV. Buckle up, have some popcorn, and let's start the video. And also worth mentioning is that I'm gonna spend the night in this little package above my car. I think you know what it might be. And I need to remove this because I want to have some badass B-roll and this is not it. Look at this. Very nice. I really like ferns. I think I'm gonna try to find a shot with them because there's a lot of ferns here. So using the 16 mil was pretty cool because the grass like around the whole fern here kind of looks like it's pointing against it. So uh, I will probably darken the, the corners a lot in posts so to really get this one to pop. This is a pretty cool shot. This brings us in to one of my favorite features of the Xperia phones and that is Photography Pro. That you're able to have full manual control over all the photo settings that you need to take a shot is really something I appreciate it. So as it's similar to a professional camera system, you're able to change shutter speed and ISO or white balance, a lot of different settings inside of the phone, just as a uh, Sony Alpha camera. I'm personally not a fan of like cameras and phones that are trying to do everything for you, like lifting the shadows and bringing down the highlights to make it all like HDR looky and adding tons of sharpness to a photo just because they think I should do that. <laughs> that is not how I like it. And I know many of you also really like the manual controls. So if you're a beginner and feel that like manual settings are kind of intimidating, I think Photography Pro is a really good way of learning, seeing how all the different settings can change a photo all inside your phone. So this is a good way into the professional systems as well. Learn your settings and I can guarantee you will see a difference in your photos. You see this dead tree here? Could potentially be an image. I'm a really big fan of images like this when you have something in close up in the foreground and you use the 60 millimeter wide angle lens to kind of, it kind of sucks you into the photo. I want some like the grass here because I really like how it's pointing to the uh, to the tree here just as the other photo so I'm having the shutter speed of 1 over 50 uh, ISO at 80 I could actually drag it down to 64 because you want the ISO as low as possible so the more ISO you add the more noisy the image gets so you you always want to keep the ISO as low as possible I think this is a really nice shot actually I really like this I don't know really why, but I'm a huge fan of like, these dead trees laying with moss on. Gosh. You know 
what? I'm gonna... Uh... So the second feature I want to talk about is the true optical zoom between 85 to 125 millimeter. I have covered this in my other videos a lot, but I quickly want to mention that having a telephoto lens inside of a tiny little phone is just amazing in my opinion. And to be able to zoom in and isolate a subject or a scene, especially in a place like this, where like it's just using a super wide on a open field is most of the times very like that's what you see on like vacation photos if you don't really have anything interesting in the foreground or is something very close to the camera that you want to enhance or show in the photo using a telephoto lens is perfect so you can zoom in and isolate something far away and you can get really interesting photos and videos with with the lens Look at this. Welcome to my home. On the road at least. I absolutely love this. <laughs> Very Instagram friendly, if that's a thing. So before going to bed, I wanna show you the third feature that I really like, and that is creator mode. And you enable this by going into settings, display, image quality settings, and here you can enable creator mode. So this enables correct colors on the screen. So when you edit the photos a certain way, it's the correct colors that you apply that you intended in your mind. <laughs> and that is a feature I really like. On many other phones I've tried, they usually like saturate a lot of the colors just for like regular people that aren't photographers and content creators. When they see a saturated image, usually they think, wow, this is so good. But uh, <laughs> we want faithful and correct colors, and that is what creator mode enables. Tomorrow morning, we're up at 4.30. We're gonna hike a small little mountain. I wouldn't really call it a mountain, but a large hill and a cliff to uh, catch the sunrise. So um, that would be awesome, but it's also very nice to sleep. Oof. Good night. So we're heading to this cliff right here watch the sunrise. The sunrise is in like 25 minutes, so I hope we're able to get there in time. So it looks like the sunrise is in five minutes. <laughs> so the sun is getting above the horizon in five minutes. So I think we can reach the top before that. I think this is the viewpoint right here. <laughs> Seems like we, we're here at the second that the sun is above the horizon. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow. I can't really believe that this is near my area where I live. And the best part is that the sun is like half over the horizon and soon the the sun will light up the, the trees here with golden light and 
that's the light we want to capture. So I have a plan to stand on this cliff here and then use the Bluetooth grip that you get from the uh, vlog monitor kit to trigger the camera and take a self portrait of myself on that cliff right here. So you probably guessed this by now, but this is the fourth feature I want to highlight. And I've used this a couple of times now, both with the Pro I and the One Mark IV, to uh, not only like use it for vlogging, but to remote shoot the camera like I did here today. I've also used it like place the phone on a high tripod and lifting up the tripod and remote shoot to get a higher perspective. So having this paired with the Xperia is a, a very cool feature to, to have if you want to get some creative shots. So I guess we only have one thing to do left and that is enjoy the sunrise. It took into men a cafe pit. They were all smart ones. So I'm very thirsty after walking from there and all the way up here and I forgot my water. But then I remembered, as a <laughs> parent of a young child, you, you're always ready. And I still got this in my bag, so it's a sign. I'm sorry, son, but I take this. Goodbye, view. Hello, coffee. Ah, best time of the day. So one of my absolute favorite things about the Xperia phones is how well they work together with the Sony Alpha mirrorless systems. And um, while I enjoy this warm cup of coffee, Future Ule is gonna demonstrate how the mo external monitor feature works. What are you doing? Get to work. Cheers. <sighs> Hi there. Ah, oh, it's so hot. So the last feature I want to share is what Pastor talked about quickly, and that is the external monitor feature. And in short, what this means is that you can have the Xperia as an external monitor for your Sony Alpha cameras. And something that makes this feature as good as it is, is how simple it is to set up. So you basically only need a high speed USB-C cable and probably a mount if you want to mount it and you're good to go and as the Xperia phones are very thin they are much more convenient to bring and the fact that you have a 4k 6.5 inch monitor that you can carry around in your pocket is very nice so to get this going out of the box we need to enable the external monitor and you go into settings and you go into device connection connection preferences and external monitor and here you can enable this and this will add the external monitor app into your uh, app collection once we have the the phone set up and the high speed usb-c cable and we have enabled the um, external monitor app we're ready to go we will get a pop-up on the camera saying select usb connect mode here we choose live stream and usb streaming there we go we're we're shooting with the monitor <laughs> so having an external monitor like this is very good when you want to have more control over what you shoot. And it's easier to check focus and exposure with a large display like this than the one on the back of the camera. And you can pinch to zoom in and out to check focus. And the screen is very bright, so it works very well on a bright day like this. And something that is very cool is the ability to live stream directly out of the external monitor app, which means you can get your professional looking alpha quality directly onto a live YouTube feed, for example. And you also have the ability to stream onto other platforms that supports RTMP stream, I think it's called, such as Twitch, for example. So these features I've been mentioning are available on the Xperia 1 Mark IV. But as some of you maybe noticed, this is the Xperia Pro I. So if you want even more professional features with the monitor function, the Xperia Pro I recently got an update with waveform monitoring and false color mapping. And 
these features are Xperia Pro and Pro I specific. And we're gonna take a look at them right now. So you now have waveform monitoring and you can access this by this little button right here. And this is for monitoring exposure levels and color balance. And there are a few different waveform displays to choose from. So you can either have the luminosity level displayed or the RGB parade. So you can also set it to have it across the bottom like this or smaller in the corner like this. And this is personally what I prefer. And the second new feature to the uh, Pro and Pro I is the ability to have false color mapping. So this is a great tool for checking your exposure on different parts of your frame. So the different colors represent different exposure values. Purple being underexposed with no details left and red represents the opposite overexposed with no details left. But you should aim to see like a lot of pinks and greens in your shot. Of course, every scene is different, but this is a good reference to, to look after. And you can customize each color value in the settings menu. So these are the functions that separates the Xperia 1 Mark IV to the Pro I in terms of the monitor feature. So if you're really after like the waveform monitoring false color mapping, the Xperia Pro I is the one to go for you. So I hope Pastel has drink his coffee because he's about to end the video now. So back to him. We reached the end of the video and I want to say a huge thanks to you for watching this far. Ah, coffee is turning cold, so I have to drink it up now. Have a good one and I will see you in the next video. Ah, bye.